guys and welcome back to the family fudge if you're new here welcome my name is Jennifer and on this channel I like to share all things mommy and family related and I really love the holidays as well the kids and I love to make special recipes and crafts and make it really fun so on today's video we're sharing some special ideas for Easter First up, we're making a cheesy brunch casserole, followed by a pistachio fluff salad. This could be a side dish, it could be a dessert, it is super delicious. So stay tuned. For today's video, I'm super excited to be collabing with two of my favorite channels here on YouTube. I know I've talked about them a lot before, but first up, we're collabing with Fallon over on the channel Moss Family TV. You guys know I love her, we are besties. I can't wait to see what she comes up with today. And we're also going to be collabing with Jessica over at the channel Big John TV. She's also gonna be sharing some fun Easter ideas. Now let's get started. For our brunch casserole, I'm using one bag of frozen O'Brien potatoes. So there's potatoes and onions and peppers all in the bag. I'm also using some Adele's chicken and apple sausage. Now you could use any kind of sausage you want, like spicy sausage or breakfast sausage, whatever you prefer. I'm also using about two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, half a cup of sour cream, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of dried basil, one 10 ounce can of cream of chicken soup, one teaspoon of powdered garlic, and some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to start by slicing up my sausage. These are fully cooked sausage and I just wanna make sure to cut them very thinly. Next, to my large bowl, I'm going to add my cream of chicken soup, followed by the sour cream, my garlic powder, my oregano, and my basil. Oh yes, and the salt and pepper. I'm using about half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm going to whisk this all up. Next, I'm going to pour in my entire bag of frozen potatoes with the onions and peppers, and then add about half of my shredded cheddar cheese. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all of my fully cooked chicken sausage and give it a big stir. Next, I'm going to take my nine by 13 pan and give it a light spray just so nothing sticks and get this into the pan. And lastly, I'm going to top this with my remaining cheese. Now I'm actually making this the night before, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some plastic wrap on the top and stick it in the fridge until the morning. When I'm ready to cook this, I'm gonna pull it out of the fridge, remove the plastic wrap, and put it into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour, just until the potatoes are cooked through. And there it is, time to dig in. This would be excellent served with some fresh fruit, or if you're my kids, served with a big pile of ketchup. Next up, we're going to make our pistachio pudding salad. Now some people actually call this a Watergate salad, there's a lot of different names for this delicious salad. Now I'm actually making a big batch today to fill up my beautiful trifle dish, but if I was making this for just my family, I would go ahead and make half of this recipe. And both of these recipes will be linked in the description box below. For this recipe, I'm going to use two small boxes of pistachio pudding, two eight ounce containers of Cool Whip, and these are thawed. I'm also using one 10 ounce can of crushed pineapple and the juice, one cup of chopped walnuts, and about half a cup of shredded coconut. Oh yes, and don't forget the marshmallows. I'm using about one cup of these multicolored marshmallows. You could also use just the plain white if that's what you have. And lastly, I'm also using just a few of these maraschino cherries to make it look pretty. I'm going to start by adding my Cool Whip to my bowl. And this first container of Cool Whip was a little bit frozen still, so I'm gonna go ahead and work it in. And for my other container, I'm going to reserve about a tablespoon or two of the Cool Whip to go on top of the salad. Next, I'm going to add both envelopes of my pistachio pudding. And notice here I'm not adding any milk to this at all. 
I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. Next, I'm going to add the entire can of pineapple, the nuts, the coconut, and the marshmallows. Lastly, I'm gonna throw in just a couple of these maraschino cherries, and then I'm going to stir it all up. Now, I'm gonna very carefully try to get this into my trifle dish. I really don't like to smear it all over the side. I try to make it look nice and neat. Then I like to smooth it out and decorate the top. Now this part is totally optional, but I once heard Rachel Ray suggest that you garnish your dish with ingredients from that dish. That way people know exactly what's in it, just by looking at it. And there you have it. I definitely like to chill this in the fridge for a couple of hours before serving. With this sweet and fruity salad, a little bit goes a long way, but it is so good. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to go check out Fallon's video over at Moss Family TV and Jessica's video over at Big John TV. I can't wait to see what fun Easter ideas they're sharing today. I'm gonna go ahead and link their videos down below. So check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.